Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We filled up the 60 box mixer featuring 50 boxes of 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football Blasters, which we've got right here, 50 of them. And then 10 boxes of Hit Parade Limited Series, Limited Edition Series 18. So 50 boxes of the Optic. There's We got... 25 on this row and on the second row right here, we got that. And the 10 boxes right here, that makes 60. Everyone gets a random team in the NFL. No vet commons ship from the Optic. Should be a lot of fun stuff. Big thanks to this group here for getting in on the action. So whether you bought Spot Straight Up, well, thank you for buying Spot Straight Up. And congrats again to the winners of Spots in those select breaks that we did. Thanks, everyone. And there are all 32 teams right there. Let's go. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Four and a three. Lucky seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Aaron down to Nick. Four and a three. Seven times for the teams. Two, three, four, five. And seventh and final time. You got the Rams down to the Chargers. All right, so Aaron with the Rams, Robert with the Steelers, Sean with the Titans, Daniel with the Panthers, Roy with the Bengals, Robert with the Falcons, Sean with the Bears, Ryan with Cleveland, Aaron with the Denver Broncos, Sean with the Jaguars and the Ravens, Ryan with the Colts, Nick Stober with the Dolphins, Patrick with my Raiders, Anthony with the Patriots, Sean with the Saints, Aaron with the uh, Green Bay Packers, Sean with the Jets, Aaron with the Cardinals, Jimmy Connell with the Cowboys, Anthony with the Chiefs, Chris with the Seahawks, Jose with the Bills, Robert with the Vikings, Barry with the Lions, Sean with the Niners, Aaron with the Buccaneers and the Eagles, Daniel with the Texans, Sean with the Washington football team, Carl with the New York football Giants, and Nick Stober with the spot that he won in a filler break gets the Los Angeles Chargers, the Bolts. Let's sort by column B, by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Uh, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So here's the final list. Hot off the presses. Thanks, everybody. For getting in. All right. So you can see on my face camera right there, we got a bunch of Donner's Optic Blaster boxes. So we'll go maybe five boxes at a time here, and then we'll close out with the uh, with the hip parade. There it is, 20 boxes, Donner's Optic Football, Blaster Edition. Got Home Run Derby on later tonight. What's everyone's picks? FSU is saying, Jose is saying Matt Olson gets it done in the last round showdown versus Pete Alonzo. Starting lineups are pretty crazy too. Tommy says Shohei will win to send a message to Stephen A. Smith. I don't think, I don't think that'll be his motivation. Uh, Matt, yes. Well, I, 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 I think I'm going with uh, 
And I made a small little wager on Trey Mancini, Trevor Story, and uh, Salvador Perez. Just for fun. Just to goof around a little bit. Matt, you got Matt Olson? Nice. No, well, I'm not going to do a wager for first spots, Matt. I don't feel very confident about home run. Home run derby, like, I feel like is can be so... I mean, there's really no rhyme or reason. Remember, like, a couple of years ago, I think people were just like, oh, it's going to be Vlad Jr. guaranteed, and he didn't win it. Yeah, I don't think Matt Olson. Matt Olson's a bad Walker Bueller pick. Matt Olson. You knew Pete Alonso was gonna win. Yeah, maybe maybe that one was one of the was one of the more obvious ones in recent years, but I feel like most years it's just all over the place, isn't it? I think, uh, I mean, I, I, feel, I feel like there's all sorts of uh, different, different ways to break this down to handicap this. I think people who have done the Derby, tw I don't know if, are these all first time home run Derby years? Oh no, Alonzo, that's right, Pete Alonzo is second time around. That that benefits them because they kind of figure out. I think most first timers afterwards say, "Oh, this this was more exhausting than I thought." Because there's like adrenaline is going. So I don't know. Maybe Pete Alonso is a good pick. He's been there before. All right, first five boxes. Good luck, everybody. Remember. Uh, Veteran commons don't ship. Obviously, parallels will ship. Rated rookies, of course, will ship. Right? What else will ship? Inserts will ship, even though that's also a rookie, but inserts will ship. And obviously, hits like Cam Akers. Piece of his jersey will definitely ship. That's gonna go to it's gonna go to Aaron and the Rams. So we're looking for the the big quarterback names here. This is an insert, so that'll ship. Patrick Queen, rookie Phenom's relic for the Ravens. That'll be for Sean O'Leary. We've got a, is that another Cam Akers? Yeah, we've got another Cam Akers rookie relic. It's another one for the Rams. That'll be for Aaron W. There's a Jordan Love, rated rookie pink for the Packers, Aaron W with Green Bay. There's a base Joe Burrow for the Bengals, that'll be for Roy. 
he should be back week one, maybe even before that, preseason. Rookie Hollow Chase Claypool for the Steelers. Robert with that one. Then there's a Elite Series rookies insert, Joe Burrow. Again for the Bengals for Roy. All right, here's the next five. Oh, okay. So I know there's two teams left in Luminance. Thank Nick. Thanks Nick. I know there's two teams left in Luminance, and I know people may be hesitating. Because it won't be, they won't uh, be eligible for the promo, which I understand, because you have to have at least three teams. But because of that, we'll give away some break credit if you buy those teams. So if you buy the Jaguars, we'll give you seventy-five dollars in break credit, and if you get the Jets, fifty dollars of break credit. So go get those teams. And then we can finally do that luminance break. And that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com, of course. Pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good deal, I think. Anyone else have any picks for the home run derby in the chat? Ooh, that, that'd be a sharp play, Aaron. If you already have break credit, you can buy those teams at a discounted price and get more break credit back. talking with Teddy Jaspi yesterday, folks, and you know, Teddy was reminding me, it's like, listen, we're going to have to start thinking about the fantasy football season pretty soon. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, we're like already kind of in the middle of July. I think the training camp's officially open in a few weeks. And then all of a sudden, we'll be thinking about mock drafts and picking, you know, who are we going to pick? All that sort of stuff. Who are, who are the sleepers? Which rookies are going to be draft worthy? Ooh, nice rated rookie pink parallel. Justin Herbert, Nick Stober, and the Chargers. You know, and our second year guys like Justin Herbert, are they going to keep it going? That would be good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby if you can. 
Right. Same with Tua. Keyshawn Vaughn, rookie phenoms relic for Aaron and the Buccaneers. Nice, Zach. There you go. I'll get you that break credit as soon as I, uh, uh, after this break. Which is going to be a little bit, but thank you. And nice. A rated rookie pink. Jalen Hurts, so these pink parallels exclusive to these blaster boxes. So as you've noticed, the autographs, I think there sometimes are autographs in here, but that's not what we're looking for. Parallels in these blaster boxes, especially the exclusive ones, are the key. Yeah, uh, not a dynasty league, but I am in a keeper league. So my football league is, I think, 12 or, 12 or 14 teams. And it's keeper auction. Once I started doing auction drafts, you know, many years ago, I, like, I, I just can't do snake drafts anymore. I think auction is the way to go. So, I mean, the, the ability to put a value on players, I think, I think there's so much more skill and strategy involved there. Anyone can draft Patrick Mahomes, right? But how much is Patrick Mahomes? Like, it, so then it's like it's, it's a little more like a front office where you're like figuring out, hey, can this quarterback is this quarterback gonna get me enough points where he's gonna take up half of my budget? I think we have like four keepers. I think Dynasty is traditionally, you keep a majority of your roster, right? As opposed to Keepers, which I think you just keep a smaller amount of your of your roster. So Aaron has a solid 12-team Keeper League. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, it, I think it's really, it's really changed um, just how I, because, you know, I think most, a lot of us have probably playing fantasy football for, for ages, right? So I think sometimes you need to you need to mix it up a little bit. I think keepers I think has been more and more popular in recent years, and then um, and then uh, and now auctioning I think has become more and more popular too. Uh, a little while, Zach. I, I take a look at the schedule that's pinned in the chat. I think there's a couple more breaks after this. So, so yeah, I think that'll give you a good idea. It's a good deal too, Zach. Zachary took advantage of the break credit that we were giving away for those two teams. I was surprised it didn't go even faster. You have reduced your risk considerably. And the upside could be huge. That could be some great return on investment.
All right. Next five boxes, good luck. I guess we'll save some Brady's too. There's a card hiding behind that. I wonder if LaVisca Chenault Jr. stock goes up with a uh, Trevor Lawrence throwing the ball to him. It would be interesting to see. There's a Joe Burrow base. And a Tua relic, rookie Phenoms relic for Miami. It's going to go to Nick Stover and the Dolphins. Justin Jefferson rated rookie pink parallel for the Vikings. He had a great season last year, Robert. Hopefully he keeps it up. And there's a rated rookie Tua. Just a base Tua. Maybe we'll find some parallels. For Nick, Nick, Nick Stober got randomized the Chargers and the Dolphins. The Dolphins with the spot he bought straight up. He got the Chargers with a, a spot that he won in the filler break. Another Jordan Love here for Green Bay. That's for Aaron. And another five. Yeah, apparently Jordan Love's been looking good at camp. How? What's the latest on the Aaron Rodgers situation, you guys? Is he is he actually gonna hold out? Is he actually gonna play? I would imagine he just ends up. I can't imagine he gets traded at this point. Also, just going back to the Home Run Derby really quick, I think I read somewhere that the Home Run Derby balls will not be in the humidor. I think the game balls for tomorrow will be like, like a normal game. It will be baseballs in the humidor. So there could be some, there could be some real bombs being hit by some of these players.
Yeah, we'll kind of just hit a batting practice ball to the third deck. What do you mean what's in the humidor? FSU. Oh, Matt Olson celebration cigar. What did you, uh, what kind of odds did you get for Matt Olson, FSU? I think right now. I think you could probably still get him at plus 575 or plus 600 at the moment. All right, next five boxes. Got a Justin Jefferson rated rookie hollow. A lot of gradable opportunities here too. Robert Flores with the Vikings. Ooh, nice. And a rated rookie pink parallel to a tongue of Iloa. Nick Stober and the Dolphins. Nice. Hopefully he takes it to the next level this year. Takes another step forward. Antonio Gibson rookie phenoms relic for Sean and the Washington football team. Oh, we got him at plus 600. That's pretty good. There's Jalen Hurts for the Eagles. That'll be for Aaron. And if he wins, you're going to get a personal case of NT. Nice. And there's a Jordan Love rated rookie pink parallel for Aaron and Green Bay. There's Sean. I see Sean. Sean's out there. I know. I was I was watching the batting practice on MLB Network. Everyone's taking the over on uh, on longest home run, right? I think that line has been going up the last few days. I think it was at like at five hundred and ten feet or something like that, but it's been creeping up. And a rated rookie hollow, Jalen Hurts. For Aaron. So, different pictures right there, too. Joe Burrow, the rookies insert for Roy and the Bengals. AJ Dillon will go to you as well, Aaron. We got a Chase Claypool rookie Phenoms relic and a Justin Herbert pink. There's the Chase Claypool for Robert and Pittsburgh. And another pink parallel Justin Herbert. It's a nice one for Nick Stober who won that spot. And got lucky enough to get randomized the Los Angeles Chargers. five boxes so that's 25 boxes right there we got another 25 to go and then 10 boxes of that hit parade and 
home run derby starting in about about half an hour. We might be close to the end of this break by by then. Good luck. He's a bathy. Looks like he could still play. Next five boxes, good luck. We got KJ Hamler, rookie phenoms. Relic for Denver, Aaron Billingsley. My rivals, the Broncos. Jalen Ragor, rated rookie pink. Terrell Lewis, pink. Gandy Golden. Jake Luton. And a Justin Herbert rookie phenoms relic for the Chargers. That's going to be for Nick Stover.
Clyde Edwards Elaire rated rookie. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts for Aaron and the Eagles. And Clyde Edwards Hilaire for Kansas City. That's for Anthony. Pink parallel. And we've got James Morgan, rookie Phenom's relic for the Jets. It's going to go to Sean O. Jalen Ragor, another Brady, Antonio Gibson, Michael Pittman. Another five boxes. So we're 25 boxes in, 25 more to go. Just a little under halfway done with the break. C.C. Zabathia Hall of Famer, right? I feel like he is. I feel like he has the numbers. I'm not sure if he's going to be first ballot or like gets 100% of the votes or anything like that, but I think at some point he gets in. You want to put Julio Lugo in the Hall of Fame? I'm not sure if Julio Lugo has the numbers, does he? do have a little bit of a of, of a bend to them just FYI
Dobbins, Brandon Ayuk, We got a rookie Phenoms relic, Jalen Hurts. It's for Aaron in Philadelphia. From downtown. That's Peyton Manning. Nice. Featuring uh, downtown. This is exactly what downtown Miami looks like, in case you were wondering. Who's got the Colts? Ryan with the blue horseshoes. Nice. It's a, it's a pretty accurate representation, I think. It's exactly what it looks like. Nice downtown Peyton Manning. There's T. Higgins. Rookie Phenom's Relic. Roy with the Bengals. We got 5, 10, 15, 20 more box to go than that uh, Hit Parade limited edition box. All right. Good luck, everybody. Five boxes. I'm looking at uh, division futures for the NFL. Let's see if there's any. AFC East, who's everyone having the AFC East? Buffalo Bills are the favorite, according to this book here, this offshore, minus 150. Patriots plus 300, Dolphins plus 375, and the Jets plus 1600. Probably will be the Bills. I think the Dolphins could make some noise. At plus 375, that might be some decent value for the AFC East. Unless you're really feeling that the Jets will surprise everybody. AFC North. Ravens plus 135. Browns plus 145. Those are the favorites. And then Steelers at plus 380. Bengals at plus 1400. Yeah, most likely Ravens or Browns, but... 
as a long shot? I don't know if I'd take the Steelers as a long shot. I mean, if you're going to put anything on the Steelers, you may as well just sprinkle a little bit on the Bengals at plus 1,400. Just cross your fingers, see what happens. Nice, Jens. You're going to be at the National in Chicago? Awesome. Yeah, come by. The, the booth numbers are in, if you go to our uh, schedule link in the chat, there's the On the Road tab. And we've got our booth numbers there. Stop by and say hello. Good luck. Got a Jalen Hurts relic, rookie phenoms relic for the Eagles. Maybe for Aaron W. The rated rookie Joe Burrow base, Bengals, Roy. Justin Jefferson relic. Robert with the Vikings. Josh Kelly back here. Alright, come another five boxes. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. Bolts dented the cup? Oh, the Tampa Bay Lightning. What do you mean they dented? Did they, did they damage it? Who pays for that? The person who has it? The team?
510 feet. Could we see someone hit it out of the park? That would be wild. No humidor for the uh, for the home run for the home run derby. So these baseballs could go flying. Alright, another five. Here we go. And a rated rookie hollow, Justin Herbert. Nice one for Nick Stover and the Chargers. Grayed out nicely. Just at a glance. DeAndre Swift, if you have a nice season. Uh, no, I don't have access to the Jaspi Instagram at the moment, FSU, but Twitter works though. Got more immediate access to that. I believe you though. <laughs> There's rookie Phenom's Relic, Antonio Gandy Golden. That'll be for Sean O with that relic. And we got a Tua relic for Nick and Miami. more blaster boxes to go. Here's another five, five more, and then the hit parade case. Good luck, everyone. We're on the home, a stretch. Division odds really quick. Let's go through some more. AFC South, Titans are the faves at the moment at plus 105. Colts are at plus 110. Then it jumps to plus 7. 
hundred for the Jaguars and plus twenty five hundred uh, for the Texans. Maybe uh, maybe Jaguars. Maybe you take a little flyer on them, but yeah, it's the Titans or Colts. I kind of like the Colts. I'd like to see uh, Carson Wentz bounce back with Frank Reich. Could be the guy. But yeah, Jags, yeah, Jags at plus 700, not too bad to win the division. AFC West, Kansas City's minus 250. That makes sense. Broncos are plus 500, Chargers are plus 600, and my, my Raiders plus 1,200. It's going to be tough for the AFC West as long as Patrick Mahomes exists and is uh, is healthy. NFC East, Cowboys are the favorites at plus 135. They'll get Dak Prescott back. Washington, plus 200. Giants, plus 350. Eagles, plus 650. I think those odds are pro should be probably... I mean, actually, those are actually pretty grouped together pretty closely. That could be anybody's division there. there. Might be value in the bigger dogs. NFC North, Packers are minus 120. Vikings plus 240 to win the division. Bears plus 375. Lions plus 1600. I don't know. Bears defense is pretty darn good. They're just marginally better at uh, at offense. Maybe Justin Fields provides that at some point in the season. I think they'll probably start with Andy Dalton, though, at least for a week or two. A longer season, too. One game longer. NFC South, Buccaneers minus 175. Saints at plus 325. Falcons at plus 600. The Panthers plus 1,000. Falcons have one more in them. And the NFC West, Rams at plus 200, Niners at plus 205, Seahawks at plus 275, and the Cardinals at plus 475. That's probably, I think, just at a glance, that looks like the, the odds are the most tightly packed in that one. The biggest dog is only plus 475, Cardinals. That's going to be a crazy division. A lot of fun quarterbacks to watch there, too. Base Justin Herbert. Another one for Nick. All these add up. And a Jordan Love. Ooh, not, not very good on that centering there, but a Jordan Love hollow going to Aaron and the Packers. Jordan Love pink parallel, that looks a lot better. Summer Catch? I've never seen this movie. Freddie Prince Jr. and Jessica Biel playing for Prestigious League on Cape Cod. Uh, let's go to... Wait, are we watching Home Run Derby StatCast Edition? All right, there's Jordan Love for Aaron and the Packers.
Rookie Phenoms, Tyler Johnson. Aaron and the Buccaneers. Cooper think, thinking Alonzo is going to win it. I do. I just took long shots, though. You didn't do any matchups? No, I didn't. I was going to do them last night. I just didn't get around to it. I should have done that. That's where the value is. I got a few matchups. What's, what, what's some of your favorites? Um, I got Matt Olson beating Juan Soto. All right. Some of the guys in the like chat have Matt Olson, too. One. And then I think the other one was Mancini, who's the biggest underdog. I was kind of just looking at the long shots, you know? Yeah, that's what I did, too. I, t I, I put oh, a little... way too big of a favorite. Yeah, way too big. I did Alonzo over Gallo, Olson over Soto, and then Otani over Mancini. I didn't do matchups, but I just took Story, Soto, and Mancini straight up. Just sprinkling a little bit of a uh, little money on there, nothing too crazy, a little coffee money, just for just for funsies. All right, five more boxes to go. Anyone have any longest home run matchups? I think on this offshore uh, numbers where I'm just kind of looking to get numbers. Um, I think, I think it, the the line balloon to like a hundred and or five hundred and twenty feet or something like that, which is kind of crazy. Could that really go over? Coop has uh, Mancini beating, what, Olsen in the first matchup. It's the final box. Thanks, everybody, for grinding this out with me. I think we saw a lot of nice stuff, though. We got that downtown Peyton Manning. We'll do a little recap at the end, too. A lot of interesting storylines here. Trey Mancini battling back from cancer. That could be a good story. Trevor Story, who might get traded by the end of the month. Trevor Story hitting at home. Matt Olson, first time All Star. The Shoei Otani show, obviously. Everyone knows Joey Gallo can hit a ton. Pete Alonso, is he going to. Is he going to defend his crown? Catcher Salvador Perez. Last time catcher was in a home run derby. I think, I think I read somewhere, was it Joe Maurer maybe? 2009 or something like that? He's a real long shot, though. A youngster like Juan Soto. Where does everyone stand on the home run derby screwing up your swing? I feel like that's a common thing, and I and I, I actually don't know where I stand on it because it, 
I'll, I'll see an article that, that that's like, you know, players will say that it doesn't mess up your swing. Some players have said it. You know, people have done statistical stuff on this that shows, I think, both. <laughs> That it does for some players, maybe not for other players. So maybe it's just a, maybe it's just a crapshoot on who it affects and who it doesn't. Brothers doing uh, the national anthem? Nice. Nice to a pink. Stover with the Dolphins. Jeremy saying totally screws up their swing. I mean, Pete Alonso won it in 2019, right? And he went on to hit a zillion home runs. I don't know, maybe some other players, it didn't help them. Jalen Hurts pink, Aaron with the Eagles. Good anthem. And that Jalen Hurts pink will go to Aaron. And the Eagles. Almost there, folks. And we'll close out with that hit parade. And another pink to a Tungle Vailoa. Nick Stover, Miami. Fokuda, AJ Brown, DJ Dallas, Dalton Keene, Austin Eckler. And Logan Wilson at the end. There you go. 50 boxes of 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football in the books. We'll do a recap of that uh, at the end of the break. Let's set that aside over here so I remember. All right, now we're going to close out. So 50 boxes plus the 10 here. Makes the 60. Um, well, I'm in the middle. If I had extra hands and a second head, Zachary, I'd be able to do it right now. But you're going to have to wait, I'm afraid. I'm just one man. But you'll get it, don't worry. All right, so limited edition, series 18. Good luck. Oh, and this you can share your hit with Hit Parade if you'd like. All right. 
be a strong finish here. We've got Michael Pittman Jr. Nice. 35 out of 35 for the blue horseshoes. That's going to go to Ryan. We've got a plate. Plate and on plate autograph. That's Raiders Tim Brown. Nice. Who's got my Raiders? Patrick Evans with the Raiders. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. From, looks like Immaculate, maybe? National Treasures? No, Immaculate. DeAndre Swift, two-color patch and autograph. One out of 75. Nice RPA for Detroit. It's for Barry and the Lions. He's got a nice offensive line ahead of him this season. So let's see if that helps him out. one we've got a wow nice from elite football turn of the century autograph to a tongo vailoa seven out of 25 that's another dolphin for nick stober Next up is J.K. Dobbins from Mosaic Football. Love the Mosaic. Ravens, Sean O'Leary with Last Spot Mojo. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. Jersey and autograph, Aaron Jones. Vested Veterans. Jersey and autograph from Spectra Football. 19 out of 50. Aaron with the Packers. You know, they were just showing a graphic on the different elevations of all the stadiums in baseball. I don't know if anyone saw this. Um, so obviously, in Denver, the Rocky Stadium is the highest elevation. What's the second highest? Some of you may have seen the graphic. But I didn't realize. Javante Williams, college ticket autograph from 2021 Contenders Draft Picks. Where did he end up? Obviously, he's only been with one NFL team. He's a Bronco. That's what the checklist will say. And that'll be for Aaron Billingsley. All right. A few more to go. According to the graphic on ESPN, the Diamondback Stadium has the second Phoenix. Second highest in baseball. All right, next is 48 out of 75, Jalen Hurts. Die cut autograph, Crown Royale football.
That's for Aaron, Aaron W. And the Fly Eagles fly. Two more to go. Ooh. Whoa. Congratulations, you received an entry into the Hit Parade sealed box giveaway. All right, and we'll send it to whoever has this hit right here. It's Kirk Cousins. It's rookie ticket Kirk Cousins, Washington edition for Sean O. And the final box. Good luck. And the last one is going to be Gabriel Davis from Plates and Patches. Two color patch. Autograph 43 out of 50. Buffalo! That goes to Jose and the Buffalo Bills. That's a catch. And we did it. We made it. 60 boxes, boys and girls. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for making this happen. I appreciate it. Let's take a quick... Uh, do a quick little recap of all the fun parallels we got in the uh, optic break or the optic portion of this mixer. A lot of nice Herberts, Burrows, Tuas, and that nice downtown Peyton Manning featuring downtown Miami. That was cool. And then another quick look at the 10 hits out of the the Hit Parade, also a nice selection here. The Tua autograph is sweet. Tim Brown on plate auto and the Michael Pittman Jr. for the Colts. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a 60-box mixer. Thanks for getting into it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.